Okay, back here and time to do some more of that fantastic granary, I guess. this yes okay let's get going so uh, we will be what did I get stuck on there so we will be um, bringing this out into the wild I was about to say but out of the water and then we will bring the Transtar to bring it over to Drummond Island and see if we can save some fuel that way. Uh, we've been burning way too much fuel doing this so far so um, and I really like to use the Transtar it's one of my favorite trucks it sounds fucking stupid because it's useless it's any, in anything that is mud like but like it's such a good truck it's just I can't help it. I need to use that truck. We need to find a way for for us to purchase one of them before we get out of here as well. Um, we need to have one. They are a absolute godsend. Okay, get into here, high gear, and let's get going. I'm just missing power? Come on! How is this possible? There we go. We are here. And now we can stop. No, we want to detach this one first. And then we can pull you forward a little bit. Let's see if we can back you up into there. Go to the garage and let's get this guy out. Um, actually, I have this engine on right now, and I think I'll stick with that one. Should be good. Uh, I don't need an off road gearbox. I won't be going anywhere close to anything off road. All terrain is fine. Um, spare wheel, maybe, is it worth it? It's really good to have a spare, a spare wheel, but on the other hand I don't think this truck will need it. And that is definitely not needed, I'm not bringing it into any water at any point soon. I wonder what that articulated one is for then, because I haven't seen any of the trucks that can use it. Might be that I just missed something. You put some nice rims on this one. Those. Uh, any lights? No. Any lights? No. Any lights? There's some extra lights actually. I don't want to spend a bunch of money though. Cabin air condition. That's cool. I wish it had a use. <laughs> It's still just like slurping a little bit of fuel. How much fuel do we have? 223. Should still be good. Uh, as I said, it would surprise me if this truck's use more than 
I don't know. Now that I tried with the other one, I'm kind of not as secure that it would be below 50 liters, but I don't think it's going to be above 100. This truck is just so much more efficient than the other one. Now with this new gearboxes or with this new engine as well, I shouldn't have any issues with pulling either. So that's good. Hello, White Western Star. You've been doing good, but you are way too thirsty. Are you fucking kidding me? Let's go back, boys. We don't have a... I could have sworn I put on a saddle. I guess I took it off. I guess it was already on and then... Or maybe I didn't put it on. I don't know. I got enamored by all the other stuff I wanted, I guess. And this is the price you pay. Wise man once said to me that whatever you don't have in your head, you need to have in your legs. So, Transtar, get to work. I'm not walking. Yeah, I don't think this one goes above like six and a half liter. And the White Western Star probably do 15 if he wants to. That is quite a different actually. It actually makes it worth it to, to use this one above the White Western Star. Okay. So, customize frame add on the saddle low. Now we have a saddle on it. Very good. Attempt number two. Okay. Let's try again. If this works out better. Oh yeah. Hey. Okay. Off we go. Medium logs number three, here we go. We're struggling to do 20 miles per hour, boys. <laughs> it's so cute. This truck is just hilarious. I love it. I really hope we can make it through here, actually. I'm happy to take some damage as long as we make it through. Doesn't look like that was too bad, actually. It's really cool. I'm actually on all-terrain tires. And I still have enough traction that I can get through this. That is so cool. I'm really impressed. Like, this Transtar is just... continuing to give me everything I want. I know there is better trucks, but like, it's just so wholesome. I spent a bunch of hours getting it out and now it's just does everything for me. Everything I throw at it, it's just like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. You make it through here as well? You sure will. Oh my. This is just so good. The little truck that could, right? This little Transtar is just showing his feet. How are we doing with fuel and stuff? <laughs> Hardly haven't used any of it. Oh my. I don't think I'm even gonna refuel here. I might as well save that fuel for the White Western Star. It's gonna need it anyway, right? I'm so happy. Get to drive this little guy again. It's just so nimble and like... 
Maybe not the most powerful, but it's definitely powerful enough to pull this kind of stuff. Doesn't even care about a little dirt road. It's like, I'll just keep going. And if I ever need to slow down, that's fine as well, because I don't use any fuel. Which is like nuts. I don't know why that happens. Every now and then the engine just restarts itself. It's so weird. And it seems to be happening to all trucks as well, and it did happen before phase 5 as well, so seems to be something else. Maybe it's because I'm using a steering wheel and it's just not very well optimized for that. I'm not sure. Could be. Just for fun, let's back this one in here. Definitely not needed. Sorry about your mailbox, I didn't see it. Okay, another one down, and we have one more to go, so we are delivering to farm next, and then we are done with Drummond Island, rest of all of this is Smithwell Dam or Iceland Lake. Interesting that you get the sound from the buttons coming up, for example, to travel like this. But you don't get the button when you have the HUD hidden. Not hidden, but like the, the immersive mode on. So obviously it's still loading the button, it just doesn't show you. Game development is weird, man. I think I still have enough fuel. Yeah. Plenty of fuel left. I don't need to steal any of this. Actually, how much fuel do I have left here? 115, 130. Okay. So not super much, but it should be enough. I hope. So excited to see a new map again. And this time actually being completely new. Uh, so far I have already played through Black River before I started this hard mode playthrough. Uh, I also played through part of Smithville Dam and I scouted out uh, Drummond Island before I started this hard mode playthrough. So it's going to be so fun to start with a place that I have actually not done anything with. Uh, Iceland Lake is completely new to me. I haven't seen anything of it, so that's going to be so interesting uh, to really get that fresh experience, you know, it's, it's so cool. Can't wait. Very intrigued. And I think I do it more or less the same way as I've done everything else here. So I'll just gear up that load star and just push it out in the wall and see what we can do i know it would be nice to have a raised suspension for it but um, 
once again, I don't think it's needed. If there is a bunch of rocks anywhere, we can go around them. I don't think it's harder than that. I'm so happy I got to use the Transtar again. It's probably one of my favorite trucks, actually. Sounds fucking stupid, but... Uh, still true, nonetheless. Except for the fact that the... Ex expansion. Uh, the suspension is more or less getting nickered on everything. I think other than that, it is... A little bit bumpy, but that's okay. We'll make it through. Engine stalled. Good for you, engine. Um, why you gotta do this? There we go. You drive on here. Probably gonna need it. have to go into low gear. I gear all the way. Fast and the furious here, I think. flying along. Let's not run into the wall this time. I think once I get up there, there's no real reason for me to go back to Smithville Dam with this truck. It should be fine, even if I don't. just not needed. Um, I think I can actually leave it in, in Drummond Island and then just bring it to the fuel station, fuel it up and then 
simply just drive it from the fuel station over to the Iceland lake when I need it. I think it's fine because I'm gonna have to carry this trailer along to Iceland lake probably anyway because I do think that there is... Uh, maybe I don't but it would make sense if there is medium logs there because I think the road to go to Iceland lake is just atrocious otherwise so it wouldn't make sense if I have to bring medium logs from either Smithville Dam or Black River I guess so yeah that is my plan at the moment we'll see though maybe I'm completely wrong and I'm just wasting my time wouldn't be a first I guess but uh, If that's the case, I guess I can just go back from there. At least I'll have fuel available to me at that point, so that'll be worth it. Hopefully. Probably not, I'll just mess it up completely and then I give up or something. I don't know. No, I won't. I don't do that kind of stuff. Not seeing the gear, it's really easy to forget which kind of gear you're in. So I found myself this time both being locked into like low gear as well as high gear when I'm supposed to be in automatic and things like that. You just don't think about it as much. You just don't realize it, I guess. Um, I do have a shifter, so you would think that I'm just physically able to realize it you're not really thinking of it. Uh, let's see. We didn't want to repair. We actually wanted to refuel. It's a little bit different. And you are full on fuel. So that's good. Let's get you going. Here we are! Drummond Island, next! Last delivery! Click. And well, the only region left now is Iceland Lake, and I know that the diff lock for this truck is there somewhere. So, um, this truck is just gonna get better. And then I have to leave it here, so that's good. So just to clarify, I will probably take off all the upgrades and stuff like that from each truck when I move to Alaska. Uh, I don't intend to leave all of the, that behind, so to say, and that'll come along with us. Okay, I've been bringing you a lot of logs, so you better be happy about this now. Well. They're just happy to help, I guess. Okay. So that is literally everything in... in... Uh, this place. The rest is just locked or in... Iceland Lake. This is here, but I can't do it. And this is in Iceland, like, what is drilling equipment? Hmm. Three of them, even. And this is in Iceland, like, yeah. Oh, I'm actually gonna have to bring more to, no, I've done this one, right? Yeah. It's just Ison Lake left here. Okay. Uh, then let's bring this one back to the fuel station. So that we can 
Uh, might as well repair this on top of the... Yeah, I'll repair this first and then I go to the fuel station. That'll make sense. I hope. I wish. Maybe. Probably not. Uh, there probably isn't even a garage in Iceland Lake. Who knows? And let's see if we can turn this around again. Last time I went to the left, so let's go right this time. Really? <laughs> Definitely need to repair now. How is that possible? I was going so slow. And that's like 56 damage. That is so dumb. Okay. Back we go. What am I doing with fuel, actually? Maybe I don't have enough fuel to get to the fuel station. I don't want to stay here and check, but definitely something I need to keep an eye on. Maybe once I get through this, I can take a look. I don't know if it's just in my head, but it almost sounds like the engine is changing its sound. No, we're still plenty of fuel. 196 is just in my head. I'm just worried. Thanks. This one up, and then we should be able to repair ourselves. Thank you, and leave you there. This one around, and hook up to this one. Fuel myself, turn the engine off, and let's get to Fleet Star, I guess. Train, and let's. Kinda wanna do this quickly, but I also don't wanna tip over, so let's try to do both. from that rock and that rock and the rocks. So we all know what that means. Rock and roll. Am I right? Am I right or am I right? Of course. There's no such thing as a rock without roll after all. So stay away from those. Well, this is nice. After going so slow through all of this before, uh, just literally plowing through it, can't complain. Okay. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. Let's get into automatic here and get this one into the garage. I think we're gonna have to use this one to bring a lot of the support trucks that we might need so let's see what we come up with
Okay, let's take the log crane off and probably use a... Hmm. This one can have the articulated one. Okay. So maybe each truck has the possibility to have either the articulated towing platform or the flatbed platform thingy with the ramp. Could that be a thing maybe? Uh, I'm actually not sure. I guess we'll see. Time will tell. Uh, one more truck. Do I want to bring you? Yeah, I want to bring you back so I can go into the garage, actually. And also so I can bring myself some repair supplies, I guess. Would be good. I should have better repair parts, actually. I want to go back and fix that. Nah, I can do it tomorrow if needed. That's fine. Yeah. I'll go this way back to Drummond Island, maybe. No, that sounds annoying. I'll just hope I don't take enough damage that I can get the repair supplies in Iceland Lake. That's what I do. Hopefully that should work. Maybe even put the supply crate on the back of this instead of the multi-purpose one. But I really do like to have that fuel there, so maybe not. I'm sure we'll find a solution for it. Put you there. I guess we can refuel as well. No, we can't. So we don't have any fuel in it. There we go. So, what do we have for you? We have a better engine. It's really expensive and I don't want to spend money. So, not that. Um, I'm going to use this truck a lot, so I might as well utilize this. These I don't think I can do anything with. No. Could put an anonymous on this, autonomous on this one, but I don't know if that's valuable either. I don't tip this one very often and it always ends up on its right side up so yeah i think that's fine shouldn't spend money on this stuff but it's just so addicting <laughs> ah okay i don't need a visor just stop now please uh, anything cool here
Let's look good. Let's go with that. Thank you so very much for watching, everyone. Uh, if you do like uh, do like this kind of content, then please give me a subscription. Uh, if you did like this video, make sure to give it a like as well. I will wait for you in the next video. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye bye.